Hi guys. So, meron na naman ako nakita na na discover na easy to make recipe ano. It's called dinner roll. So, it, it's a uh, tinapay, yung mga bilog-bilog na tinapay, soft bread. So, uh we're going to try to we're going to attempt to make it, okay? But I already have all the ingredients ready, so let's do it. Um first, we're going to pour the milk. Ayan. One cup of milk. Ayan. And then, so we're gonna keep that one kasi gagamitin pa natin yan. And then, ito yung mga uh, wet ingredients, ano? So we're gonna pour the olive oil. Uh, one fourth cup of olive oil. There you go. Next is our dry ingredients except the flour later on pa yung flour guys so in this mix sugar salt and baking powder and so let's put it there now let's mix it up guys Let's mix it up. Now I have a clean spoon, um, serving spoon. So let's mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up very well. I have to get the baking pan ready. So now we're gonna add two and a half cup of flour. So how do we do this one? Nalinis ko kasi ito dito guys dahil dyan ako mag, uh, mag kneading ng ano ko dyan mamaya ng dough. Nalagyan ko, nalinis ko na kasi yung area na yan tapos nalagyan ko ng plastic wrap para to make sure na malinis talaga. So we're just gonna do this. So we need two and a half cup. Again. So one cup. Two cups. At kalahati pa. Mm. Let me see. And half a cup. So now we're just gonna mix it well. We're gonna mix it well. I need to buy a new baking spatula, no? Kasi I have them before, kaso lang, kina, kasi di ba ano siya, um, soft kasi yun siya, so kinain kain na mga ibon, kinagat kagat na mga ibon, so tinapon ko rin. So I really have to buy, I need to buy a spatula. So guys, this kind of bread, it's a bread roll ang tawag niya, or dinner roll, bread roll. Wala siyang ano, wala siyang yeast ano. So hindi tayo gagamit ng yeast. All right. So right now we're just gonna mix it well. And then we're gonna need the dough um in a little bit. So let's put it here. 
kasi ininid natin. Don't worry guys, kasi itong surface na to, meron siyang plastic. Oh. Nilagyan ko ng plastic wrap. Just to really make sure na malinis. Ano. Kasi kahit naman na naglilinis tayo ng ating surfaces, ganun, ay hindi, hindi tayo talaga nakakasigurado. So this one, just to make sure we have a clean surface. So naglagay ako ng naglagay ako ng plastic wrap na malinis yan plastic wrap na bago at malinis so ayan we gonna make sure na every single bit of it magagamit natin ano kasi yan sayang naman so, ayan guys. After nito, mag-start na tayong mag ng dough. So, ayan guys, malinis yung malinis yung kamay ko kasi naghugas naman talaga. Well, let me wash again. Just to make sure, ano, kasi syempre, um, we're working with food and we make sure na malinis ang ating kamay. So, ayan. Make sure it's a little bit dry too. So, ayan. Let's go ahead and we're gonna need this dough. So, ayan guys, this um this recipe, yung bread na to, wala siyang masyadong maraming sugar, no? Kasi, ako, I don't, I don't wanna put a lot of sugar in my food. Yung katamtaman lang na sugar. Huwag naman yung masyad. Kaya pag nagluluto ako, guys, yung sugar na nakalagay sa, yung sugar na nakalagay sa, ano, sa recipe, uh, kinakalahati ko lang yan siya. Kasi, especially if you're using um, yung ingredient mo, you're using flour. Nako guys, yung flour na yan, yung flour, yung harina ba? Pag na anong tawag dyan? Pag na breakdown yan sa loob ng katawan mo, yung harina or yung flour, Nagiging ano yan guys, nagiging sugar. So remember, sugar makes you fat. Eh mataba-taba na nga tayo, healthy na nga tayo eh, di ba? We don't need any more sugar. So yan lang naman ginagawa ko guys. Um, yun. Ano, half the sugar lang yung ginagamit ko. Tsaka ito yung recipe nito guys, talagang kunting sugar lang talaga. I think it's one, one tablespoon of sugar. Tingnan nyo naman guys, so how sticky it is. Kahatiin natin sila into smaller portions, ano? Kasi, uh, with a smaller portion, we're gonna, we're gonna work with them. Nang gagawin natin, i-shape natin sila sa, let's divide this into six okay so yun lang wala pa kasi akong proper tools para sa baking guys so we're just gonna work with whatever I have right now ayan mas tiki talaga siya so we cut this into 6 equally sized ayan Malinis yan dyan, guys. Okay, ano ba yan? And then... And then... What happened to here? Ah... Uh, 
Ayan. So, kung hindi man equal yung size, guys, okay lang naman yan. So, ayan. Now, let's add some more. Just a little bit more. Ayan na. Flour. So, at this point, guys, iro-roll lang natin siya na magiging bilog sila, ano? So, So, ayan guys. We're just gonna make a round shape. And then, this one to Sa, maliliit sila. Try nga natin, hindi na natin lagyan ng ano, ng flour. gonna turn on the oven guys three naka 350 degree Fahrenheit na siya so we're gonna start it para ay whoops wait okay Alright, anyway, so, alright, so right now, 100 degree Fahrenheit, as usual, it will start right there, and then as the temperature is gonna go up to 350 degree Fahrenheit, pag 350 degree Fahrenheit na siya, ilagay na natin yung baking dish. Ito yung baking dish natin, guys, and uh, ililipat natin yung mga uh, rolls natin dito, but first... I'm gonna make sure na nag-spray tayo dito kasi as usual para hindi mag-stick, okay? Ayan. Nahugas ako ulit ng kamay. Ganyan ako, guys. I wash my hands so many times. Multiple times kapag nagluluto ako. Kasi syempre, when we're dealing with food, we're gonna make sure na we're gonna make sure na ano 
we're gonna make sure na malinis yung kamay natin, ano? Malinis yung area, malinis yung mga materials na ginagamit natin, ano? Mga kitchen utensils. Ayan. So, we're gonna put it there. Hindi siya perfect round, but it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Don't have to worry. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. So, Ayan. So, anim lang na rolls yung ginawa ko guys kasi this is the first time I'm making this and syempre hindi, hindi ko pa naman kabisado. Hindi ko pa siya kabisado. So, this is an experiment. Cooking from somebody's recipe. Alright. So, ayan. And then, magkat lang tayo dito sa gitna banda. So, <clears throat> ito meron akong malinis na knife. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut at the center. Ayan, guys. So we're gonna cut at the center. And then, dapat nilagyan ko siya ng oil na na. And then this one. For now guys, andyan lang sila. Um, we're gonna wait until mag 350 degree Fahrenheit yung ating oven. As of now, ayan, 240 pa lang. So, we'll wait. 350 degree Fahrenheit na guys. So, ilagyan na natin sa loob ang ating baking dish. So we're gonna go ahead and bake it. Bake it at 350 degree Fahrenheit at uh, 25 to 35 minutes. Putla pa siya. Ora, we're gonna come back to it, mami ang konte. I wanted to have a little bit more color. Yung nagba brown siya ng konte, golden brown lang. So balikan natin in like five minutes. Let's go check it out, guys. Ayan. Nagba-brown-brown brown na siya ng konti. Let's try five more minutes. Ayan. Wow, guys. That is so exciting. Look at that. I think, I think they are ready. Let's take out the bread. Look at the yummy, yummy bread. Parang ano lang siya, parang pandesal lang din siya, guys. Ayan.
juice lang ito guys. Baka naman nag-isip kayo na hindi juice yun. See. It's just a juice. That's Dailene's guys. She has a juice and the bread. Perfect. siyang ano pandesal this is mine tingnan niya naman guys in slice ko siya in slice ko siya just to make sure na in slice ko siya guys just to make sure na luto yung sa loob niya na Now, let's eat, guys. So, ganyan. Butter lang to, guys. It's a butter. So, let's try it with the butter. Kasi kanina, walang butter yung kinain ko, eh. So, as you can see, mukhang pandesa lang talaga siya, guys. As in. But we call it, dito sa US, we call it, um, bread rolls. Or dinner rolls. Mmm. Wow, so yummy. 